I'm Song Kyung Long Guest. Welcome to Asian at Home. And today I'm going to show you how to make Som Tam. It's Thai style papaya salad. After I shared my sticky rice recipe, you guys are all going crazy on the comments saying papaya salad, next papaya salad, next papaya salad is Sanyang. So here it is. Let's get started. You will need a small to medium size of green papaya. You can find green papaya easily at your local Asian grocery stores. We are going to peel and take this out from the green papaya. We are going to use half of the papaya. It's about 8 to 10 oz. You can shred the papaya by your choice. You can use mandolin like I'm going to do it today because it is so easy to use, quick and saves up a lot of my time. Or using a knife and hold the papaya on your hand and just chop the papaya carefully. Do not chop your hand, chop the papaya. Make sure you're chopping papaya, not your hand, okay? Okay, either using mandolin or chopping papaya like this is not your thing. You can just go ahead and julienne it just one by one. Take your time and do so. Now let's cut two ounces of long beans. Now you can tell why the name is long bean because it's a freaking long. <laughs> it's like our last name, longest. The other name is actually snake beans because they look like a little snake too. But anyways, if you don't have this long bean or uh, snake beans, you can definitely go ahead and use regular green beans that works totally fine. Just cut into two inch pieces. Cut 4 ounces of cherry tomatoes in halves. You can use regular tomatoes too. Alright, all the vegetables are prepped. Are you ready to go? <laughs> I really love using this Thai modern pesto. I actually got this from my local Asian grocery store. It was only $16. Actually, $16 for this and $6 for this. That's so how much is $20, $22? Not bad, right? But you can also find it at the online too. Online is a little more expensive, but if you love papaya salad, but if you love papaya salad and Thai food, it's definitely worth it. I will put the link down below where you can find online. Add two to three cloves of garlic and two to three Thai chilies into the mortar. Pound the garlic and chili together so they will re. They will release. They will will. <laughs> There's too many R's and L's. They. So they will... <laughs> Say it like this, so they will release. Okay, oh, so they will release. <laughs> so they will release their beautiful aroma and oil, also the pungent flavor. Then add two tablespoons of fish sauce. Two tablespoons of palm sugar. I personally like my palm sugar in a jar because it's really easy to use. Half teaspoon of shrimp paste. If you don't like too much pungent flavor, you can leave it out. Two tablespoons of dried shrimp. You can also find this dried shrimp easily at your local Asian grocery stores. Grind and mix everything together until palm sugar is dissolved to the sauce. And you know, make sure pounding some of that dried shrimp as well because we need that flavor to the sauce as well. Lastly, one to one and a half of juicy lime. It's about two to two and a half tablespoons. Adjust the Thai chili palm sugar and the lime amount to your taste. So that way you can control the spiciness, sweetness, and tanginess. Mix everything one more time. Now it's time for the papaya and the long beans. Pounding everything together gently. I'm also using a spoon to toss everything together evenly while I'm pounding. Now let's add the tomatoes and two tablespoons of roasted peanuts. Toast and pound lightly one more time. And you're done! Transfer to a serving plate and serve with sticky rice if you wish because you can just roll up sticky rice with your hand and dip the juice. Oh yeah, it's like you're dipping bread to like any other like sauces and stuff when you're eating Western food. Oh yeah, this is for that. You eat the shrimp too? Yeah. The skin on that? Yeah, yeah. It's dry, the shrimp is good. You just, did you just push it away? <laughs> you don't want to eat it? Oh, look at that. Mm. I let you try first, but be careful not to spill it. Mm. 
It's so refreshing. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Is the flavor just like perfect? Mm. Oh my god. Mm. The spiciness, the sweetness, the tanginess. Mm. I can bring that to you. Bring it down. Mmm, 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 mmm. So good. Mmm. If you like the my song tam papaya salad recipe, please give me a thumbs up. And subscribe my channel for more inspirations and ideas of Asian home cooking. Thank you so much for watching me today. And remember, you can always cook Asian food at your house. Making it easy and fun. I'm Sanggyeon Longgast. And I'm Jacob Longgast. And this is Asian, Asian at Home. home. And I'll see you next time.